Hi, it's Angela Long, one of the design team members for Tonic Studios. Um, I just thought I'd share a quick tutorial of how I made my um, spinner for the twirling teacups. Um, I just had, this is a child's um, fidget spinner. Um, and that's all you've got to do is add circles of card onto each of these three spinners but leave the centre ones free so that's all I've done I've used just a one inch punch and I've cut myself out circles so I've cut out 12 circles and glued them together so I've done two and well I've got 10 years so far so I'm just going to glue the other two on So that then I've got three of them and they're the same depth. And that's all I want to do now. I'm going to add some hot glue. Around and into the spinner. And then I'm just going to add my card on there to give me depth so that I've raised above the central piece on the spinner. some reason oh we turned it off no it's coming out now some reason my stick isn't going all the way in. That should be enough. So if you can see now, these are higher than what that spinner is there. So just to make sure it has all stuck. I'll be done to this now. I'm just going to fill these holes to make sure that it, it the car does stuck to it. When I made my twirling teacups, I'd already glued the two bases together. So what I did then, I just found it. Uh, I just cut two pieces of card, found where the centre was, put glue on these three, and then stuck it on there into the centre. And then I I'd put a base. Uh, no, I turned that over then that way, and then I stuck my base to that so the whole thing spun but then I was thinking then if if I added some more of the one inch circles and glued it onto the base there then I do it so that it would fit in the center and sorry I'd glue 
the base onto there, uh, onto the base of the um, twirling teacups and then build that up until I add enough height so that when the second layer went on to make sure whether it would still spin so what I done then was I just cut out more circles I think I've got 14 there so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use my hot glue and stick them to the centre but on the opposite side so I'm going to leave that just set for a second and make sure I haven't got any of the hot glue in around anywhere but then I didn't think that was deep enough so when you get your red liner tape you get a little sponge thing I don't I don't throw these away because it's handy if you had to punch a hole into something then I use that instead of just going like this and sticking it into my finger I can just lean it on there and poke it through so I never throw these because they come in handy but they'll come in handy now as well because I'm just going to use that instead of cutting out more circles and then I'm just going to add some hot glue onto my circles and then I've got the depth again then so I'm just going to stick that on there so it's made it deeper so then what I do then I just put some glue onto it this is just one of my layering dies that I've just cut the circle out from and then I'm just going to glue my bottom layer onto it trying to make sure that the centre is in roughly in the centre of the base so I think it should be about for there and then I'll just glue this pad now oops it's moving around one sec into the center and then just leave that set so that has risen above this base layer and then I've found the centre of another piece of card so I'll just put glue on these And again, try and centralise the centre of your circle with the centre of the spinner. So it's about there. And leave that set. Because when you would have made your second layer, you've got the, the pillar in the centre. So you're going to have the extra bits underneath as well so I haven't made that because I just made this quick to see if this would work don't know if it will yet but we'll try it to see so that should have set a bit now so I'm just going to well, I'm going to add some glue around the edge and around the edge of the layer that the teacups would be on and then I'm going to try and centralise this you'd have 
your panels on you as well so try and line it up with that as well and then try and centralize it and then add that on and let it dry and then when that's all dry you'd have your teacups and the lid, the roof and stuff on there and then oh yes that would work then so the base is static then the base is going to stay flat but then you can just twirl it round from the second layer up because you've given yourself that depth and then it'll just spin then for you then or like I say you could make it just like a lazy Susan and just add it to one piece of card and glue that to the base of anything or if you've made something that you wanted to show you know all around your project that you've made then you could just stand it on your lazy susan and just give it a turn but it does work like that just by adding depth to make it thicker than what the base is and then glue that on top but let it dry properly uh, give it enough time to dry and then that will turn as well then so hope this is of use this little tutorial is of use too but as you can see it does work and then if i try and hold it sideways you wouldn't see any of the workings on the inside because it's got the taller panels coming up on all the sides so you wouldn't see into that and you wouldn't see uh, your markings that you've made there because you'd have the central panel in the middle and then your teacups will twirl so I hope you find this helpful and if you give it a try or if you find an easier way post it on uh, on Facebook and then share your ideas with everybody else that's on there as well thank you bye